the fuck going on with your man welcome back to some more episodes of naruto shippuden now before i get into this reaction make sure you guys look at the links down below in the description you can find my twitch channel where i live stream play games and stuff my patreon where i'm 10 episodes ahead on everything that i'm watching with the full reactions available instead my discord come on in and join that shit and of course my twitter all the links down below in the description um so the last couple episodes of shippuden I believe we saw kind of how, how Konoha was created and kind of the rest of the whole Shinobi world, you know what I'm saying? Um, Hashirama and Madara with a very uh, very wholesome way of building um, kind of the Shinobi world. Uh, what, 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 what's it called? Madara um, told Hashirama that he would trust him if he would either kill himself or his brother because Madara's brother also died in battle, right? And Hashirama literally didn't even hesitate and was about to kill himself. But Madara, actually best friends with Hashirama all those years ago, stopped him. And, you know, Moi, that's enough, right? So that was a very nice little... Um, that let me know that Madara isn't... Um, I mean, we kind of already knew this, but Madara is... At one point, Madara actually had, you know, a freaking heart. You know what I'm saying? He actually had compassion and whatnot. And um, they shook hands and Konoha was created. And matter of fact, <laughs> Madara almost became the first Hokage. Um, until, you know, outside sources pretty much recommended that uh, Hashirama should be the first. I mean, it does make sense, but of course Hashirama being the good friend that he is, he wanted Madara to be the first Hokage. Um, imagine that, imagine an, an alternate universe where Madara was the first Hokage. Damn. And honestly, that might, that, that might have turned out a lot better, you know what I'm saying? The Uchiha and the Senju. Uh, might have gotten along a lot better, you know what I'm saying? Because I mean, Tobirama over here is really, really, really hating on the Uchiha, you know what I'm saying? I, I, but it makes sense why he is. The Uchiha does have a history of just, you know, hatred, especially the whole there's actual chemistry involved and then and them leveling up, you know what I'm saying? But still. Um, I don't know. I, I think uh, because of Tombi Rama's disdain for the Uchiha, the Uchiha definitely felt that and felt, you know, kind of discriminated towards uh, Konoha because he was the brother of the first Okage, right? So um, I get to I get Tobi Rama was you know was right in the sense that he was trying to protect the village and he was only looking out for people and whatnot. But still, he could have been you know he could have eased up a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, and of course, this caused Madara to leave kind of alone which was really sad even the Uchiha didn't even want to follow Madara um, and then of course that ended up with them having their final fights with freaking Hashirama summoning a crazy Buddha uh, statue that's what that was way bigger than the Susanoo armored up uh, armored with the Kurama which is very very cool too again their fight like watching Hashirama and Madara's fight is like it's so leagues beyond from what we've seen in the past. Like, these two all were actually the gods of Shinobi, and they still are, even now with Naruto and Sasuke alive. It's kind of crazy if you think about it, because normally, normally as generations go on, you get, you're get you supposed to get stronger, but it seems like, you know, um, it's actually uh, been watered down. I imagine even the Sage of Six Pats, the original, was actually stronger than these two. Imagine that. That's crazy. I do like that, though. It's different, right? Um, but anyway, I believe Hashirama is nearing the end of his story, and that's when Sasuke is going to choose whether or not he will join Naruto's side or join Madara's side. And really, if listen, if he joins Madara's side, we lose. Straight up. We lose. We can't beat three Uchiha's, two with Susano's. Sasuke's but Sasuke's probably gonna unlock his perfect Susano soon, right? Um, so yeah, we're not winning that, but if he joins Naruto's side with the four reanimated Hokages, we definitely have a much better chance. And also, I can't wait to see the... I mean, I, I love Minato, and I love the third, but we really haven't seen much of Tobirama and Hashirama. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I know Tobirama's a, a water user and whatnot, but he... There was a reason why he was the second Hokage, so he must be for real too, right? And of course, we all know Hashirama is considered the god of Shinobi. So of course, I want to see him fight, right? So anyway, that's where we are. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. This is Naruto Shippuden episodes 371, 37D and 371. Like and subscribe. Oh. 
Oh, the wood clone. That's a GG. He thought he was out of chakra, huh? So that was it, huh? Hashirama won? He just left Madara's body there? Didn't take it back to bury it or something? Hmm. Seems a little, uh, reckless. There we go. What's it gonna be, Sasuke? There it is. He's gonna protect the leaf. Oh. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> Cutting. Well, I mean, Sasuke is kind of joining the good side right now, so maybe she'll join too. We could definitely use her, bro. She's a good healer and a great sensory ninja. Why not? Double flying Raijin. OP. Dude. Dude. There we go. We got Sasuke's answer. And now they're gonna join the fight. Alright. So this is very, very, very good for us, obviously. Uh oh. Sorry about the flawness of the episode. <sighs> I'm a bit tired right now. So I didn't really react much, I'm gonna be honest. But honestly, the episode was mostly filler anyway, so there wasn't much to react to. Pretty much except for the ending part. When Sasuke decided to defend the leaf. Because defending the leaf means protecting Itachi's honor. honor. And it's about goddamn time he realizes that. Freaking Sasuke. <laughs> so he's grown up a little bit. He's gonna bring the four reanimated Hokages, Orochimaru, Jugo, Karin, Suigetsu, the whole gang. And this is a huge help. I mean, Hashirama was the only guy that has defeated Madara. Madara is definitely stronger as he was when he was fought, fought him for sure, but Hashirama's got the second, third, and the fourth on his side as well, along with Naruto and the ASF. So this will definitely shift the tides in battle. Because the ASF and Naruto seem to be doing okay, but let's be honest, Madara and Obito probably still have a lot of tricks up their sleeve that they haven't really shown us yet, because that's just the kind of people they are, right? So, um, this is big. This is big. Good job, Sasuke. I'm glad you didn't decide. If, if he chose Madara's side, that's, that, that's show over. That's Madara Shippuden. <laughs> This show would have been over if Sasuke chose Madara's side. So honestly, it made it made a lot of sense for Sasuke to choose Naruto's side to extend the show more. Because you know, we all know Shippuden likes to extend stuff in el elongate episodes. Jesus Christ. Um, but this is good. Alright, so. Let's see what they fucking do. Immediately. We got two flying ra I, 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 I had no idea the second Hokage was apparently the originator of the flying Raijin. And, it, and I guess the fourth Hokage just, just made it better? That's that's crazy. That's awesome. Cool. All right. Well, let's go ahead and move on to the next episode, shall we? <laughs> Fucking Obito and Madara, bro. Dude, this must be exhausting for Naruto. He's cloaking. Everyone with the nine tails? That's gotta be hard. Naruto no chakra, 
Damn. That's so, that's some Hokage shit, bro. What Naruto's doing right now, he's protecting everyone. Everyone, dude. You know what I mean? That's so awesome. Oh, look at his face. He looks excited. <laughs> freaking Ma Madara's freaking jumping up and down like a little girl in inside. He <laughs> that was funny. He can't wait to fight Hashirama again. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh shit. Kakashi and Obito going into the inner world. Oh man. I want to see that 1v1, bro. <laughs> that one. Not only are they both really strong ninjas, but that's got some heft behind it, if you know what I'm saying. A lot of emotional baggage in that one. What the hell is happening right now? It's a bunch of natural disasters. A typhoon, freaking lightning. Why'd he stop? Oh, we know why he stopped. Damn. Come on, Kakashi. Kakashi, I think the Obito of old is gone, brother. I think it's time to just throw hands. Now that I think about it, I think Obito was actually the person most similar to Naruto. They both wore goggles, they both wore similar clothes, they both had the optimistic, positive attitude, they both wanted to become Okage. The only difference is one was in Uchiha, one wasn't. Really. And I guess one died... Well, one kind of died early. <laughs> That's what it seems like. <gasps> Nani? They didn't show that part. Oh, what? Oh my god. Oh my god. She was gonna become the Three Tails Jinchuriki? So she killed herself? What? Oh, because the the three tails would go berserk on the leaf. Yeah, damn, 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 Rin, damn. Jeez. Jeez。Jeez。Yeah, Kakashi. Obito is a hollow now, dude. Bro, you can't do anything to him anymore. <laughs> oh man, fucking, that's such a ruse, bro. In an infinite dream where you can have whatever you want. I don't know, man. That's on some Matrix shit. Bijou bomb. Ew. Uh, new attack? What the 
Oh fuck. Is it shedding? Oh what that's a plant. Okay, the episode ended random. Um Okay. Well Dude, alright, I wanna talk about this. So this infinite Tsukiyomi, this Genjutsu world. Like I'm trying to understand it from both perspectives. Obviously, it's fake. Sounds like the Matrix. Plug yourself in. It's not real. You know. And we should stop it. But thinking of it on the other side of things. Is it so bad? If you don't if you're if you're Genjutsu and you don't know it's a dream and it's literally living your best life inside of this world. Is it wrong? You know? Madara is giving everyone a chance to live their best life in this fake world. In this genjutsu world. You know, even though their real bodies are probably just gonna be fucking lying there like Inception. Is it that bad? I'm really trying to understand it through both perspectives here. You know? Um... I don't know. I think... I don't know. Honestly, this, this, is, this is a very interesting topic. Because... That doesn't sound too terrible, honestly. Living your best life inside of this inside of this fake world, you know. Um, huh. I don't know. This is this is this is a very touchy subject. <laughs> like, would you do it? Would you spend eternity living your best life in this world without knowing it's fake? And it's your best life. You know, you get whatever you want. You're with whoever you're with. There's love all around you. There's fun. You're truly happy. Blah, blah, blah. Right? It's your ideal world. For all time. You know? Um, and maybe you, you maybe even want to wish to grow old in this world. And you could probably... I mean, I don't, I, I don't know how Madara plans to do this thing, but it, it, if he allows you to choose when you, when you yourself die, then so be it, you know? Because, I mean, living eternity honestly sounds kind of boring. So, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. The more I talk about it, the more I think it's not too bad. <laughs> I mean, geez. The only problem with it, though, is it's not real. But your mind thinks it's real. So because of that, it should be okay. Or is it? Who knows? That is a true discussion that, I mean, we can go on for days, hours, you know what I mean? I'm gonna let y'all make your decisions. I honestly don't know. It sounds good, so I want to say yes, but just the simple fact that my real body is like laying there, like rotting, I don't actually know. I don't actually know. Let me know what y'all would do down in the comments, and um, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll discuss it even more. But um, Sasuke? has joined our side. Thank God. Also, I loved how Madara got super excited. This is one of the first time we've seen him smile since he's been reanimated. He truly like was like, Hashirama's back? Ah! His true rival and best friend is back to give him another good fight. That's so awesome. Alright, well, now that we have Sasuke, Orochimaru, um, and the first four reanimated Okages, Two of them with the flying Raijin, so they can get there immediately on some shit. We might stand a chance. Now, I don't know what the fuck they're doing with the Tentails. I don't know if it's throwing up something. I don't know if it's shedding its skin. It's definitely transforming into something. Um, but it looks uh, pretty intense. So hopefully the first four can arrive now or sooner than later. Because we gonna need that shit. But, um... Oh, also, the, the inner world. Obito and Kakashi, bro. Oh... <laughs> Here's the thing, they're, dude, if they have a 1v1, that fight's gonna be crazy. And it's because not only are they both strong ninjas with similar eyes, you know, with the Sharingans and stuff like that, but they have so much history, so much emotional baggage. So if they fight, I mean, not only is it probably gonna be fire on like a on some like, you know, just regular ninjutsu type shit, regular fighting, but it's gonna be fired through like, just um, through the emotional side of things because of how much shit they have, you know, behind them. Oh man. I hope they show that fight. I hope it's, I hope it's a true 1v1. I hope no one messes with them because they need to have this 1v1. Real shit. They need to have this 1v1. 
Obito and Kakashi. There's too much history between them. You know what I mean? Damn, that's gonna be awesome. Anyway, uh, that's gonna be it for this uh, video though. Um, if you guys like the reaction, make sure you hit that like and sub, sub button. And uh, also make sure you check out the links down below in the description. You can find my Twitch channel where I live stream, play games and stuff. Um, my Patreon where I'm 10 episodes ahead on everything that I'm watching with the full reactions available instead. My Discord, come on in and join that shit. And of course my Twitter, all the links down below in the description. Other than that, I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one and I will see you guys next shipping episodes. Alright, peace.